Napakalaking problema nito para sa China. Dahil nandito sa Pilipinas ang isa sa pinakamalakas at modernong barkong pandigma ng Canada. Pero bakit nandito ang Royal Canadian Navy? Ito ay para palakasin ang ugnayang militar ng Pilipinas at Canada. Magpipirmahan rin ang kasunduan sa permanenting paglalagay ng barkong pandigma ng Canada sa ating bansa. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang Amerika ang may kutang militar sa atin, kundi posible na rin magkaroon nito ang Canada sa ating bansa. I think it's uh, extremely, extremely important that we're here providing this uh, forward presence and with the Indo-Pacific uh, strategy. And it just goes to demonstrate uh, the seriousness that Canada is taking. Five trillion U.S. dollars of annual trade transits this region of the world. It's very, very important to the global commons that these sea lanes remain open. Again, I think all countries around the world have a have a responsibility uh, to be able to maintain the order to which we've all subscribed to. Sa ibang balita naman sa West Philippine Sea, kung hindi matapang si Pangulong Marcos, wala rin daw magagawa ang Philippine Coast Guard. Inamin niya ni Commodore J. Tariela. Paglilino ng PCG, may takot pa rin silang harapin ang malakas na puwersa ng mga Chinese. Pero dahil sa pagmamatigas ni Pangulong Marcos at walang takot kung magkaroon man o magdulot ito ng gulo laban sa China, talagang lalaban at lalaban daw tayo. Pero kahit wala ng floating barrier sa baho di Masinlok, pinagbantaan muli ng Philippine Coast Guard ang Chinese Coast Guard. Na kahit ilang ulit o beses daw maglagay ang Chinese nito, ay tatanggarin at tatanggarin lang yan ng Philippine Coast Guard. The President has already um, given specific and clear instruction to the Philippine Coast Guard to remove the, per the barrier the, the, the first time that we learned about it. In the next coming months, if ever that barrier will once again be in place, the Philippine Coast Guard will uh, do whatever it takes for us to do. I think for um, our national government, we do, uh, especially for the Philippine Coast Guard, we no longer um, need to um, wait for the instruction of the president because the mere fact that the instruction was already given, then there is no reason for us to remove it every time that the uh, floating barrier will be um, reported that uh, it was in place. Wala man sa patnakayahan ang Pilipinas na kontrahin ng China, nanindigan pa rin silang ipaglalaban nila ang karapatan ng mga mga sa West Philippine Sea. Hindi man araw-araw isasagawa ang pagpapatrolya, mas dadalasan raw ito ng Philippine Coast Guard para na rin sa ating magigiting ng mga mga I don't support President, the Philippine Coast Guard, and the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Um, although uh, we're not going to be constantly present there, we're not going to, we don't have enough resources to be able to 24-7 uh, uh, ensure the safety and security of our Filipino fishermen. Uh, but um, we are going to increase more presence, but not constant. Well, if we can only sustain, no? as I said, we, we have a very limited uh, number of vessels. Uh, we only have three offshore patrol vessels. Uh, we have been relying to the 44 meter vessels of, uh, that came from Japan. Uh, if we have enough uh, Coast Guard vessels and uh, Philippine Navy vessels and even Bureau of Fishers and Aquatic Resources, why not? Diba? Um, kung kaya naman talaga natin. Uh, it just so happened that we have a very thin uh, resources para i-spread out natin sa West Philippines. Dahil naman sa kakaunting pondo para maprotektahan ang West Philippine Sea, aalisin o tatanggalin na ang confidential fund ng Office of the Vice President at Department of Education at iba pang ahensya. Tinatayang 700 million pesos o abot ng isang bilyong piso ang pondong mapubunta para sa seguridad ng West Philippine Sea. Kulang man ito, Pero malaking tulong na para may paglaban ang karapatan ng bawat mga ng Pilipino. Po, ng confidential funds sa uh, Intel funds ay uh, gusto nating uh, makita at marinig. Dito, external defense na talaga. No? Um, dapat magkaroon ng, kumbaga mag, kumbaga mag, uh, they will have second thoughts also of uh, just uh, going, uh, intruding in our uh, airspace or uh, territorial waters. Definitely, Mr. Che, we cannot match. China in terms of might. They are a superpower but at least put up that minimum respectable defense posture.